if you are looking at ways of growing and scaling your practice where you um, your practice is thriving your practice is growing fast you have good uh, patient uh, base um, and you have uh, generating profit consistently and you are looking at ways for scaling your practice expanding your practice then this video is for you hi i'm vidya prakash i'm a practice growth coach i help doctors and hospitals in building their practice to achieve profitable and scalable growth now in this video i am going to walk you through a practice growth model which will give you idea of how you can scale expanding your practice if you are coming to my channel for the first time then i want you to subscribe to my channel because i am coming out with various uh, topics related to the strategy the skills that are needed and the, the tools the techniques which can help you grow your practice which is going to definitely help so i want you to subscribe and hit a notification button so that you get notified whenever i am coming out with a new content and do like and comment as well that will give you uh, that will give me uh, that you 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 get benefited with these type of videos and it encourages me to come out with more uh, such videos in future so let's get back into the session and understand what are the ways you can grow or uh, expand scale your practice now uh, if you look at uh, the traditional way of uh, growing your practice it can be your hospital or clinic traditional way is you going with the flow and you putting effort and investing your resources and you see some progress that is happening in your uh, clinic or hospital and with that progress you reinvest and go about in growing your practice or scaling your practice this is this is what traditional way is where you focus on word of mouth you are not doing certain activities uh, by planning things but there are some uh, doctors few doctors who do plan who do uh, invest on themselves and their practice in growing now i am going to give you a road map of what you can do and i am also going to share a case study which is going to give you lots of clarity which which will make you understand what exactly uh, this is all about and how you can implement it in your practice now uh, compared to the traditional way you you need to have a practice growth model a business model where it is going to help you in uh, growing faster Uh, creating a growth model for your clinic or hospital it's like diagnosing and treating your patient just as a uh, doctor as a doctor you carefully diagnose you understand the patient's condition and you develop a treatment plan based on the diagnosis that you make you decide on the specific needs you decide on what are the ways you can help the patient to overcome the problem it can be through medicine or it can be surgery or lifestyle modification and so on similarly when it comes to practice you have to diagnose find out where exactly is the problem and you have to uh, prepare a plan of action which is going to give you the desired result and you should also take certain action steps in uh, uh, addressing certain problems or in taking effort taking steps in order to implement certain things so that you are able to grow your practice in a systematic manner and if you uh, the uh, if i compare the traditional way it is like you without diagnosing anything you are giving a medicine to the patient without understanding what the patient is going through and giving the right way of uh, the treatment plan you just give the medicine ask the patient to take the medicine uh maybe the sometimes the medicine may work and it may not work it's on luck but you cannot give your growth process on luck it, you have to plan and you have to execute certain things so that for all the effort that you are putting into your practice you are going to get result in the form of profits in the form of growth in the form of you reaching out to more patients at the end of the day the 
main objective of you as a doctor you have uh, the you you look forward in serving more and more patients and that is going to drive you more and more result for your practice so for that to happen you need to have the practice growth model hope this analogy gave you some uh, 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 a way to understand what why you need a practice growth model so let's jump into the session and i'll give you two different ways of uh, scaling or expanding your practice. as i mentioned there are two types of growth model that you can implement now though there are two types you can select any one or you can also implement both of them if you are able to do so the first type is horizontal growth the second type of growth is vertical growth now let us look at what is horizontal growth now what is horizontal growth it is you expanding your services in different locations in newer lo locations the new setup that you are intending to have maybe you can run on your own or you can give it as franchise so it is up to you based on uh, which is which you feel f suits your needs you can do so so that is uh, how you can expand your uh, services now there are pros and cons in this growth model you have to uh, understand what is your strengths and what are all the ways you want to go about based on that you can proceed the pros are these uh, when you are uh, growing in this manner you will be able to reach to newer market so your revenue potential increase and your market reach will also increase next you will be diversification you will have diversified revenue stream because you are having a newer practice then your uh, brand recognition will increase and brand awareness also will increase and you will have more patient satisfaction because you are giving more access of the services so these are some of the pros and the con are the increased expenses due to the cost of opening a new location if you are investing your resources to open a new setup then the cost the expenses are going to be there so it is going to be an increased expense and if you are going for franchise method this may not be applicable the next disadvantage is difficulty in managing multiple locations now if you are going to manage the center at multiple location then it will be difficult if it is franchise again this may not be applicable risk of overextending the clinic's resources so if you are uh, extending the resources of your clinic it is going to be a risk increased competition in your market so you should also be in a position to address this factor of you having competitions in the new market that you are going to go but if you are planning and if you are able to um, uh, have a proper strategic approach then you may mitigate the risk factors and it you can minimize those risks and minimize those um, disadvantages and you'll be able to grow if you if you look at it any business for that matter there are going to be certain risks associated with it but if you really want to grow then you have to uh, ensure you are taking that risk so that you'll be able to reap the benefit over a period of time so these are the horizontal way of growth the next is vertical growth vertical uh, way of growth is you expanding the scope of services within the same location within the same practice that you have right now and the pros are going to be these there is going to be increased revenue potential from newer services because you are adding new services uh, there is going to be improved improved uh, patient satisfaction because you are offering services that is going to help and benefit the patients so they are going to be happy to avail your services increased brand recognition and awareness lower cost compared to the horizontal growth because you are you are you are in this existing setup you are coming out with the newer services so the cost is comparatively is going to be low the disadvantages are these increased expenses due to the cost of acquiring new resources now for uh, even though it is going to be in the same setup there are going to be certain expenses so you should be planned 
and prepared to address those. A newer service, so you should have extra space, you should have resources such as you may have to hire new doctor or the nursing staffs. So the relevant expenses will also be there. So that is going to be one of the disadvantages or I would say the concern that you, you should keep in mind when you are planning. Increased complexity in managing wider range of services because you are adding new service. So there could be certain complexities which you have to manage. Risk of affecting the existing services. Now if you, you already have good uh, um, practice that is going on, the new services may affect. So you should see and ensure whichever services that you are including, uh, implementing into your practice, it is going to help the existing one. So you should have a patient journey map based on that if you are able to implement it, based on that you come out with a newer service, it's going to be helpful. And the last disadvantage is it requires careful planning and execution. Otherwise, you will be diluting the existing brand recognition that you have. If you are not planning and doing it abruptly, maybe it is going to affect your uh, existing brand as well. So there is some risk factor associated with that. So these are two different ways. Now when you look at horizontal growth, you having your setup in different locations. It can be through franchise or your own setup. And when you look at the vertical growth, you are uh, uh, expanding your practice at the existing location. Maybe you add newer services or you come out with an entirely new uh, product range. For example, you have a clinic, maybe you have a pharmacy which you want to start or you have a hospital, you start a diagnostic center or you already have existing uh, facilities. Let's say you are ad uh, adding ortho into it or a new uh, cardio related facility into it. So those are the vertical growth that you plan for that you have to do. Now I'm going to give you a case study which is going to give you more clarity and this case study is using the Apollo hospital. Now you why I have chosen Apollo is they have implemented both vertical and horizontal growth model. So it becomes easy for you to understand the this particular growth model and it becomes easy for you to uh, implement also so let us look at how they have implemented the horizontal growth when you look at horizontal growth apollo has expanded and opened its services in different locations across india and they have also expanded into other countries like sri lanka and bangladesh when you look at vertical growth they have implemented various facilities. They have established center of excellence. Let's say for cardio, they have a center of excellence for oncology. So they have established the center of excellence around particular problems. And uh, they have pharmacy, which is both online and uh, direct. They have established clinics. They have come out with the diagnostic labs. They have telehealth services and they have come out with the Apollo Pro Health, which is focused on preventive healthcare services. So these are the way they have established their horizontal growth and the vertical growth models. Now you can come out with or both or you can come out uh, with either one of them. Plan the growth model, have a strategic planning, give yourself two to five years for implementing all these things and reaping the benefit out of it, it is definitely going to be little time consuming initially because you have to plan and you have to implement. But if you are not having a growth model uh, and if you are following the traditional way of growing, even though you are investing all your resources, all the effort, you will not be able to grow beyond certain level now in the description below i have given you a link if you feel you are ready to expand and scale your practice then i'll be very happy to help you to give you a roadmap first i'll analyze your practice it, it can be clinic or hospital it does not matter it does not matter about the size 
all that matters is your intention to scale your practice and i'll be happy to help you i'll be giving you a road map of what you have to do how you can go about and the strategic plan that you can implement in your practice hope this video was useful to you and let's meet with another interesting topic in the next video thank you